A tragic gymnastics accident in 2012 left Brandon Beek wheelchair bound as a quadriplegic. Since then, the Beek family started a non-profit organization called Walking with Brandon, where they help thousands of disabled patients with accessible outpatient rehabilitation. Now, Brandon's story and remarkable improvements in his recovery has created hope for thousands who are disabled as they power and strive to empower disabled South Africans across the globe. Now, Brandon, along with one of their foundations, uh, intern biokineticist Taylor Ross is also joining us this morning to tell us more about this fantastic organization. Brandon and Taylor, it's so good to have you both in the show. How are you doing and how have you been surviving the lockdown? Uh, it's, it's been a bit tough, but we've been managing. Um, now that our center's open again, I'm back at uh, training and therapy again. Yeah, I'm back at work, so I definitely miss this place. It's so nice to be back and be busy again. Yeah, it's so good to see you guys doing the positive work that you have been. But tell me more about the Walking with Brandon Foundation. Why did you start the foundation and what exactly do you do? So Walking with Brandon Foundation was started in 2015 um, as a means for actually for me to get therapy after my accident in 2012 when I broke my neck doing gymnastics. So it was a relief for me, but over time we started seeing how others needed help as well with uh, rehabilitation um, and recovery after obtaining a disability. So we opened it up to the public and over the past five years we've grown tenfold and now we um, have opened up to the public offering the first of its kind advanced outpatient rehabilitation program. Now I know obviously the NPO, well you started this off just for yourself, but why now is the NPO so important to you? For me, it's, it's an essential for people after, um, after obtaining a disability because when you leave inpatient therapy, you're left with nothing. There's no place you can go to afterwards to get guidance and help and assistance along the way. No final phase rehabilitation. But at the end of the day, you feel lost when you obtain a disability and you need someone to give you a helping hand. I felt lost, I didn't know what to do. And here we give people a second chance at life. We give a second chance at recovering more and better, bettering their quality of life. Oh, it's so good. Now, Taylor, as an intern biokineticist, how have you been able to assist people with injuries during the lockdown? So, generally with a disability comes a whole host of um, secondary complications. So, wheelchair users are generally prone to things like hypertension, diabetes, pressure wounds, cardiovascular disease, and that's because they're sedentary all the time. They're sitting all the time. So, the very cool thing about exercise and what we do is that a lot of these secondary complications can actually be managed through physical activity. So, during the lockdown, we saw a huge increase in, in these complications. Um, so, that's why it's so great that we're back at work and now we can help people with these things. So, with pressure care, with um, cardio, which is so great for your cardiovascular system, great for diabetes management and also hypertension. Well, it sounds like you guys are doing so much down at the practice, but uh, what other programs are you offering at the foundation and how can those that are disabled join these programs? So we work at a multidisciplinary practice, which means that we are not just bios. We've got a team of five bios and two interns, as well as a physiotherapist, an occupational therapist and a speech therapist. So people can come here for basically all of their rehabilitation needs. And we have a great program, we have a subsidized program, which means that we cater to both the public and private sector. So if people can't afford rehabilitation, they... ...then you can come here for rehab and we will help you out with whatever you need. Oh, Taylor, that's just so brilliant that you're making these uh, programs accessible to everybody. Now stay tuned as intern biokineticist Taylor Ross will be taking us through a wheelchair-based workout for those who are disabled with little or no resources at home. 